There are three kinds of neurons. Sensory neurons, interneurons, and motor neurons. Sensory neurons carry signals from the senses to your central nervous system, that is, your spinal cord and brain. For example, you get poked by a nail. Ow! You'll feel that pain right away because of sensory neurons. Likewise, you can thank your sensory neurons for allowing you to see, hear, smell, and taste. Interneurons connect neurons to other neurons. They're found in the central nervous system. The brain itself operates as a network of countless interneurons. Motor neurons carry information, often instructions, from the central nervous system outward to the rest of the body. Now there are two kinds of motor neurons, somatic and autonomic. Listen up. Somatic neurons are under your voluntary control. Voluntary! For example, you use somatic neurons to raise your hand or to go for a walk to the mailbox. Autonomic motor neurons are involuntary. Involuntary! Which means you don't have to think about it. When we look closely, we find that the autonomic nervous system is also divided into two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The sympathetic nervous system is active during a fight or flight response. That is, when you're in danger. <gasps> Shark! Rawr. Sympathetic autonomic neurons are used to make your heart beat faster, make your lungs take in more oxygen, and turn down digestion, which isn't really important in an emergency. The parasympathetic nervous system does the opposite. It is active in calm, relaxing moments. <sighs> parasympathetic autonomic neurons, for example, are used to slow your heart, slow your breathing, and stimulate digestion. And that's the main architecture of the nervous system to life. Mm -hmm.